Just picked up a couple amps from Gately Audio, the brand new stuff that just came out. I don't think this stuff has even been on the 81 at all yet. It just came out. They just arrived. You're looking at a 5700 watt, a 700 watt, and a 1700 watt. Which one do you guys think I'm going to test first? Let's go with the big bad boy right here. Look at that. 5700 watts. Kind of a weird number. Usually when they say 5700 watts, that means it's a 5000 watt amp that they raised up the ratings just a little bit. So hey, if it does 5700 watts, it does 5700 watts. I'll be happy with that. I have a feeling it's probably going to do about six. Now, until today, I haven't even seen these amps before. I saw a couple pictures, but I haven't seen them in person. So, all right, all right, all right. Little instruction manual. I got a box this out of a box. Look at that. We got a couple of things that go with it, a little box of something. Oh. Base knob, nice one. Oh, it's a really nice one. Got a little voltmeter on it, a little temperature sensor, it looks like. Got the Gately Audio Shield on it. Real nice touch. Got a little Cat5 cable. All right, right off the bat, my opinion on the Cat5 cable solid. A lot of the Cat5 cables you get with these amps are as cheap as possible. This thing looks like it was made by somebody that was cutting it to length and attaching ends. Real deal stuff, in my opinion. I know my Cat5 cables. Oh, look at that. Got some uh, Allen wrenches, a couple different sizes, and uh, looks like a little little gain screwdriver. Can never really go wrong with a gain screwdriver being included in the package. Look how beautiful that thing is. Even the logo looks amazing. I love it. All right, the unboxing's out of the way. We zoomed in a little bit. Enough of that, let's look up some wires and see how it does. Time to torture test it on the 81. We got this thing all hooked up. Base mouse plugged in. DD1 Plus ready to go. Power cables hooked up. What's this? 74 degrees, nothing. Base knob all the way up, 100%. And let's go ahead and Gain is real nice and smooth. I'm really liking that. 
Here it is right there. Look at that. 10 dB. Watch this. Zero overlap. All the way down. 100% all the way up. You set your gains. That's exactly how it's supposed to look. Whether it's 10 dB or 5 or 6, it doesn't matter. When you turn that knob up, it should be all the way up to your set point. So we can just do that for right now. And gains are set. Almost 4,100 watts at two ohms. Look at that thing. 5,400 watts uncertified up to clipping at two ohms. This thing's a beast. Damn, 5758 at two ohms. So this thing easily did its 5700 watts, no problem. But there's only one thing, that was at two ohms. This amplifier is rated at one ohm. Let's see what it does when we drop it down a little bit. Take it up to clipping this time. Beautiful. 81.94, god damn. That's about as solid of an app as I've seen in a long time right there, I'll tell you what. Look at that. This thing is an undeniable beast. What you think, Kay? Is that thing doing numbers or what? Yeah. You wanna flip it over and see what it looks like on the inside? Let's do it. Okay, cool. Only one thing left to do to make this official. All right, here we go.
Look at that, it's official now. Badass. Well, this amp is definitely the real deal. It's only rated at 5,700 watts and it's doing double that or more. Crazy. Nothing I like better than an amp that I could test over and over and over and over again too and not have any kind of problems. This thing is not even warm at all. I probably tested it 10 times today. So after getting that text from Bobby Gailey about testing at 16 volts, I figured might as well not end the video just yet. I'm heading back to the shop, it's the next morning. We're gonna put it on 16 volts and hopefully it uh, survives. Let's see what kind of power it puts out, this is gonna be fun. nine all day long so here we are back at the shop again bobby wanted to see this thing at 16 volts so i'm gonna put it up to 16 volts but technically 16 volts is barely a 14 volt system 12 volt batteries charge at 14.4 to 14.9 sometimes even 15 14 volt batteries charge between 16 and 17 and if you had a real 16 volt system it'd be charging between 18 almost 19 volts so we're only going to do 16 volts flat just on the dock see if it survives where's my fire extinguisher at so as you can see, 14.9 volts, 14.9 volts. The SMD VM1 is gonna be maxed out. We have an HV version that goes much higher, but there's not one on this test bench. So that is gonna be maxed out, but we still have this. So let's turn up the voltage, 16 volts. There we go. As you can see, the VM1 is buried. Oh, we're a little high there, 16.2. We'll turn it down. I think the uh, cat banks were still filling up. All right, as you can see, we're at 16 volts exactly. the audio in the house dude this thing is a certified beast man for real all right i got the authorization from bobby himself who just happens to be standing next to me we're going to do 0 0.8 certified we're at 14.8 volts and let's let it rip Woo! <laughs> Point four. Yeah. It's gotta do at least nine or more. There we go, now we're talking. That explains that. Oh yeah. <laughs> nine thousand at point eight. Now watch this big number that's about to happen. That's going to be your dynamic RMS burst. Oh, okay. Woo! Get some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 5,700 watts at 2 ohms. 13,000 watts. Dynamic burst. <laughs> and uh, 0.8 ohms. Pretty legit. 0.8 isn't really that far off of one ohm at all. That's like almost normal. Fuck it, run it again. Certified at 0.8. Oh, Certified at 0.8.
86 hundo. 14.2 volts. We've tested so many times that the dyno is trying to cool itself down and it's about 35, 40 degrees in the shop right now. The amp is the amp, nice and cool. Yeah, baby. the amp is really cool. You can feel a little bit I mean, it, room I mean, temperature it, over here, over here. This, you know, this side is, isn't too hot at all. It's, what do you think, man? Can you test all day on this? Is that fun or what? This is a good time. <laughs> all right, well, there's one more thing I want to show you that you didn't see. I was going to make you wait to see it in the video, but uh, flip it over real quick. What? Flip the amp over. So I don't know who's gonna eventually end up with this amp, but uh All right. put this in my F-150. Look at that. That was yesterday's certified numbers before we tortured oh, it even sick. more at point eight. I was just looking at your signature. I'm like, no, sick. no, no, man, we got it. It's lasered in there. <laughs> That's right. Really laser, yeah. baby. Yeah. All right, Bobby, beast ass goddamn amp, and good luck with your new adventures in life with all your electronics and your uh subwoofers and everything else. And with that, I'm out of here. Yeah.